Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. The gift ban was fueled by abuses, junkets to Paris, drunken gambling trips to Canada. Lawmakers who have served before and after the ban say what's changed is the ability to get to know one another. It, it has changed dramatically. This eatery in the shadow of the state capitol has survived just fine under the ban. Other landmarks, like the Silver Slipper, which once served spaghetti for 65 cents, have vanished since the ban took effect. Because lawmakers spend three-fourths of their time at home, the impact has been felt across the state. It affects every community, no doubt about it. And when I speak to senators and representatives about this, they can't even go to the Boys and Girls Club. Now there's talk of lifting the ban, perhaps allowing nominal amounts to cover a sandwich. In the upside down world of Florida politics, state lawmakers can't take a free cup of coffee, but they can accept unlimited campaign contributions. Lobbyist Jack Corey says he socializes as much as ever with lawmakers. He says the prohibition has hurt nonprofits more than anyone and led to gridlock between the parties. The founders of this nation. Uh, when they were in Philadelphia, they would always go out after their debates. They would always sit around a pub. They would always have a liter of beer and discuss the issues of the day. We're not having that today, and you're getting much more partisan in the legislature. Details of any change are still being flushed out. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.